TFL EV is brought to you by Flow Charger, maker of reliable, high quality charging stations for your electric vehicle. You see this bumper on a 2015 Tesla Model S? I call it the Mad Max edition. Well, actually, that's not what Magna calls it. This is a test vehicle that Magna has been using for several years, about six years, in fact, to test some of their electric driveline components. It started as a factory Tesla, and about six years ago, the team at Magna actually took everything out of it. The driveline, uh, the motors, the battery. They used some of their own um, connections and a partnership for a battery. And then they, uh, they're using it as a test bed for electric motor technology. So it's a triple motor system. This is not the Plaid version of the Tesla. Of course, that's available now too, but this is like the grandfather well, not the grandfather to the Plaid, but this is a same concept just several years prior. And this is a very unique opportunity for me to drive it at this M1 course right here in Pontiac, Michigan. I'll be able to do a couple of laps here and actually get to know the car and what it can do on a nice track surface like this. Um, and you can see it basically has standard wheels and tires, nothing super fancy, continental tires, and they're calling it the E1. It's been at some auto shows, so if in the past, if you've seen it, maybe at an auto show, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Why does it have a big chin on the front? Because this car is also, um, does a lot of testing at their winter facility in up, up north. So this is basically kind of a snowplow addition. You can see large cooling radiators in the front the fan is currently going it's a very hot day here in michigan close to 80 degrees or maybe more today so let's get in let's go for a drive can you please introduce yourself uh, yeah my name is Hokom kim i'm a senior system engineer okay yeah. what's the total output is it like 480 kilowatts yeah so one motor has 160 kilowatt so totally three motors so it's three times oh okay so that's that's healthy healthy it's over 600 horsepower maybe 640 ish can you explain this um, yeah we the, the Tesla is a dual motor but we removed that and then we put the tri motor system so one front and two back and then between two motor we have a gearbox and clutch pad mm -hmm. so we use a torque factory so we can transfer torque side by side and what is that can you like so, do, yeah, do a locker, locking yeah locker. So this is a Tesla with a snowplow and a locker. This is nice. Yeah. Okay. And the, you can see the temperatures in the battery, or at least the percent. Yeah. So we're in dynamic right now? No, right now auto. Okay. Okay. All right, let, a little bit more accelerator. Yes, yeah. it's a different uh, throttle map. Okay. And I think um, there was some obstacle placed on this track and I'll, I'll try to, I'll avoid them, okay? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that was almost, I think, 100, 100 miles an hour right there. Yeah. It's so effortless. So this is kind of a test bed. I mean, this is, doesn't have to be a Tesla, right? It can be in any vehicle. Right, correct. I think you can kind of hear the tires. Yeah, tires maybe a little bit. <laughs> a little bit worn? Yeah, and that hot right also. <laughs> this is, but very predictable. Like, yeah. there wasn't a lot of just oversteer. Mm -hmm. And my favorite thing is like, you can monitor everything. You can monitor the temperatures. Yeah. Well, there it goes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can kind of see how it's changed. Um, and also you can see individually, right? Yeah, so, the, so yeah, front is the same, left to right, because of one motor, mm -hmm. but rear has the two different, so once you... So maybe I was using um, towards the left a little bit more. Yeah, so once you turn and hit the throttle, the more... There's overdrive, yes. you know, the torque vectoring? Yes. That's very interesting. Well, thank you for letting me drive. No problem. I appreciate it. Well, there you have it, the triple motor Tesla before the Plaid. And this actually brings me to another point that other vehicles that are not meant really for track use, like the Hummer EV off-road truck, 
also use a triple motor system. I mean, not the same one as here, but the concept is kind of the same, uh, where you have two motors in the back and one in the front. And in fact, a rear locking differential, which is kind of a virtual locker as well, because you're kind of connecting both motors and making them work at the same time. So this is kind of the granddaddy of the technology, which is really cool. As always, go back to alltfl.com for everything automotive and also for Mad Max Tesla reviews.